Good evening, and welcome once again to the 7pm news on Channel 12. First up, we have an issue that costs Australia $4 billion per annum, a significantly lowest quality of life in Australia, and causes 40% of Australia's forced early retirements. It obsesses the drug industry, and this is none other than chronic pain, or the third most expensive health condition worldwide. The problem is that painkillers are getting less effective as more people take it and it is getting very addictive and causes many side effects as well. Well, thankfully, researchers at UQ and Yale have found a new cure to pain. Sam Wong reports. Hi Sam, what have you just found out? Well Tom, a particular substance called protoxin I in the Peruvian green velvet tarantula is in fact what has been found to combat pain. How it blocks pain is that it stops pain signals from reaching your brain. To understand this better, watch this. When harm strikes a person's arm, small charged particles called ions are released into the nerve system, causing a small electric current that travels to the spinal cord and then to the brain, finally registering as pain. Oh, you can have the blood table. Now, with Pain, with pain channels, there are many different kinds of pain channels answering to different kinds of pain. A particular kind of pain channel called TRK1 answers to the pain that you experience from garlic or eating wasabi. Now this pain is stopped by protoxin I because protoxin I causes the right reactions such that the pain channel is closed and this means that pain signals can no longer be transmitted to the brain and pain is successfully stopped. What causes this discovery to be possible is a process called toxinering. Well, let's share to explain. Well, toxinering is a new way of finding toxins that answer to our pain receptors among millions of other toxins that don't. In the past, the toxins were tested one by one against each pain receptor. This was very tedious and costly. However, now with toxinering, we can group all these toxins into a library called a toxin library and test it against the pain receptor at one go. This is much faster and cheaper. However, there are many challenges that come along with the new technology. A big challenge lies in finding toxins that are specific such that they only target your pain without targeting other parts of your senses. This is what makes the process of discovering new drugs such a long one. Nonetheless, with this new technology, we can be discovering drugs at a much faster rate and drugs that are more effective as well. Well, thanks, Andrew. It's a very interesting discovery indeed, and I'm sure that our chronic pain sufferers will rest well with the idea of new cures for the future. Now, thanks again for watching the 7pm news on Channel 12.